CTV News at 5 with Hudson Mack. Good evening. Thank you for being here. It's one week now since the mass shooting at a Connecticut elementary school. And tonight, CTV News has learned that there have been credible threats of violence at schools up and down Vancouver Island. The threats were posted on social media and were written on bathroom walls the old-fashioned way, involving someone who would come to the school, possibly armed, with the intent of doing harm to students. As CTV's Gord Kerber shows us tonight, RCMP in the Comox Valley are taking no chances. Two RCMP vehicles sit outside Vanier Secondary School in Courtney. The officers are inside on what was a prearranged visit, but today there's now a greater sense of urgency. Well, there has been some rumors circulating um, um, uh, through the hallways of Vanier, and um, the RCMP and myself have been dealing with that through the week. Vanier's principal confirms the school staff had some concerns about threats that arose out of Twitter and Facebook messages. Yeah, the social media is, is played on this where um, rumors start and um, whenever we hear rumors or things written in bathroom walls, we uh, deal with it very seriously and we always involve the RCMP and our threat assessment team here at the school district. But Vanier wasn't the only Comox Valley school RCMP were keeping an eye on. In fact, not the only schools on the island. Many rumors were circulating about incidents about to take place. Police just didn't know if any of them were true or which schools would be affected. Well, it's just some general threats about uh, somebody coming to the school, possibly armed, uh, you know, with the, with the intent of doing harm to students. RCMP are not certain, but believe recent shootings in the United States, combined with talk about the end of the Mayan calendar and perhaps a twisted sense of humor, are to blame. These things all developed into a critical mass of of uh, you know an opportunity to spread a rumor I guess for somebody so and we're not unique this is happening in schools all across North America this today knowing those images of the terrible tragedy in Newtown Connecticut are fresh in the minds of students along with the knowledge threats have been taking place in other communities meant the RCMP in the Comox Valley had to take some action from a precautions perspective uh, we have had uh, members in and around the schools uh, as I said there's no no a concrete threat that we could attach anything to and really the the purpose there was to be a calming influence. Although no one in the Comox Valley has been charged with any threats in connection to today, police say there are several different charges that would apply to anyone making such threats. Gord Kerbis, CTV News, Courtney.